Welcome to TS Power again. In this tutorial, we'll learn to use a new tool, the histogram tool. I've already selected variable income per capita from the data set SES, socioeconomic survey. Now I'm going to choose a tool under simple graphs called histogram, same scale. Click on there. After I click on there, now I can go pick my variable. I'm going to choose the variable uh, per capita income from the year 2004. I just make a little simple click. After I do that, you see that some description of what the histogram tool is comes up here. What's the minimum number of variables you need to make this work? What's the maximum number of variables that will be displayed? And you see this big button turning red and you know that you can graph it. So let's just graph it and see what happens. Just click. Now it's going to load. And right away we have a histogram showing us per capita income in Thailand across the country. You see that that's the name of the graph. 1% of the outliers have been cut. Uh, this is an option. It could be changed. You can see what the variable is called, the description for the variable. Um, here, the height of the variable, uh, each of the column is determined by how many values fall into each bin of the histogram. And um, here are the various, uh, each, there are 50 bins by default, and uh, the right-hand side are higher values. So you can see here, x max, the highest x value is 34,540. And uh, the max y, which is the maximum number of observations for each bin, that's 5,025. Now we can go back to the top section of the screen by clicking on the button home. After, I, I have only made one selection, but for this tool, we can make multiple selections. The max variables that will be displayed again is three. So let's click on the year 1992. After I do that, you can see that there are now two things that are dark, right? Of my three slots, two things are dark. I click on the first one, it says 1992 for the date. For the second one, it says 2004. So I've selected two things. Now, if I click on this big button again, let's see what happens. Now, instead of just graphing one variable, it will graph me two things. And you can right away get a direct comparison of per capita income from 1992 against per capita income in 2004 for Thailand. So now we can scroll back to the top of the page or click that home button if you prefer. And if you want to change a variable, change a date, you can just click on the cross. Now you have gotten rid of everything and you can make new selections as you wish. Thank you very much.